where we are having the first ever conference, Global Ministers Conference of the Church of Pentecost. This year, our theme is I will build my church, but the 2023 theme, um, the vision of 2023 has an overarching theme which is possessing the nations. By that we are saying that we want to influence every world view, every thought, every behavior with the kingdom principles and values such that by the time we are done doing that, we turn men to Christ. This morning, our discussion, um, I have with me here Apostle Osman Zabri and Apostle Dr. Owusu. Apostle Osman Zabri is the head of our church in Togo. Apostle um, Dr. Owusu is the head of our church in Canada. Apostles, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank God bless you so much for coming. How has the conference been for you so far? Yeah, it's uh, been very, 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 very well for us. Okay. Yeah, the introductory message of the chairman of the church alone has started impacting the whole house. Mm. So we have seen that the hand of the Lord is upon his people and God is really visiting us in a new way. Mm. That's what I can say for now. Wow. God is visiting us. I can feel it. I'm not a pastor, but I'm enjoying everything that is coming. I've also, uh, Dr. Ozu, the conference so far so good for you? Yeah, I would say so far so good. Uh, everything, all the messages are well disseminated, you know, to the people. So uh, I, I could see from uh, the faces of the people that they are really catching the messages. And that is the most important thing. See, it is good for people to come and understand what we intend to do. Mm. So this is not just about feelings, but it's really catching the vision of the church for the 2023 and especially the team for the year. I will build my church. Mm. Wow. Um, let's look at how the church is doing out there. Apostle Osman Zabri, you are um, the head of our church in Togo, the national head. Um, how is the church doing in Togo? Yeah, the church is doing very, very well. Okay. I can say that. Uh, those who are around us and uh, hearing testimonies can see the move of the Holy Spirit. We are invading every sphere of the societal life of the Republic of Togo. Yeah, breaking ground, going in all corners of Togo. The year 2018 alone, we have projected to open 50 new churches, God being gracious to us. 50. Togo. But by God's grace, at the end of the year, we saw ourselves being able to open 92 wow. new churches. We projected to baptize wow. maximum of 4,500. But at the end of the year, we saw we have baptized 6,000. 400 plus. Awesome. So we are seeing the mighty move of the spirit invading the lands of Togo. Wow. So we'll go in an infrastructural development. A lot of churches have been built and dedicated during the year 2018. In fact, we are really influencing, the church is influencing positively wow. the fabric of the life of people in Togo. So that's what I can say for now. Yeah. Awesome. The church of Pentecost in Togo. Yes. Just last year alone, yes. these figures. Wonderful. Apostle, uh, how's the church doing in Canada? So that's the African side. This is Europe. How is the church doing in Europe and in, in, in Canada to be specific? We are doing very well in Canada, though we have our challenges. Yeah. You know, I'm sure uh, you are all privy to what is going on in the Western world. Mm especially when it comes to the moral degradation and a whole lot of things. So we have a lot of challenges, but uh, churches are thriving. And by the grace of God, we are breaking grounds. We are also having very uh, uh, permanent churches for our members. Okay. It's, it's not very easy, you know, mm. to come by. Higher property. Exactly. Mm. Especially one we had in uh, Toronto, North York, uh, is costing us about 
uh, it's close to about thirty million dollars. Yes, just to finish that edifice. That can do and so much in Ghana. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And by the grace of God, it should be done. Uh, hopefully, by the end of next month. That's one edifice. Yes, one, one edifice. Purpose. One edifice alone. We have numerous, you know, edifices, you know, across the country. God willing, this year we might be done with about five of them, and then we look forward to other things. There are various challenges, you know, uh, when it comes to government policies and other things, uh, especially the sex education at schools, where you know children are exposed to many many issues you know with the transgender mm. you know uh, lesbian and uh, gay and all those things it's very challenging mm. very challenging so the church has come up you know with uh, curriculum okay. you know to deal with our members you know at church and then educate the parents to also know how, know how to educate their children at home okay so, that so you're not we, relying on the system no, no, there. No, no, no. It's going to bombard the children and before mm. you realize uh, we don't have a home. Wow. wow. Um, today we are going to look at the church and the Christian home. We're going to discuss the mission of the church. We would have some discussions on church policy and some track sessions. What are your expectations? Yeah, yeah, our expectations is that, as Apostle rightly said, we have seen that pastors who have been privileged to participate to this conference, they are really, uh, they are in the vision, they have captured the vision, they have accepted the vision. And uh, for us to, it's like, it's God's intention for the church to really uh, invade all the lands. Mm. And uh, we know that because the pastors have accepted and backed, and backed on the process of really going through the vision, we know our expectation that as soon as we go back on the terrain, we put into implementation the vision strategies mm -hmm. to how and when mm -hmm. to achieve our objectives. Mm -hmm. and that is our greatest expectation. Mm -hmm. As they have accepted the we'll, vision. We'll, we'll come to that and probably if we have right. time to look at how you're going to Implement it once you go All back right. to Togo. All but um, Daddy, today, what is your expectation? Well, I'm expecting that, uh, especially when it comes to the Christian homes and the yeah. marriages, exactly. that for people to accept the fact that you know the church starts from home. Exactly. So if it must begin from home before you go out, mm -hmm. and when you look at uh, the call to leadership. God said that if you cannot manage your home, exactly. how would you want to manage, you know, the house of God? If you can't possess and your home. That how do you go and possess the nation? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay. So, so I'm I'm looking forward to uh, members. When I say members, the ministers, you know, accepting uh, this call, practice, and begin the church from home before it gets to the. Uh, pop it. Yeah, let me, yeah, let yeah. me quickly add something. Mm -hmm. You know, one of our greatest expectations is that the transformation that we are expecting starts from us. Hallelujah. And we are hoping I love that, that. Yeah, and we are hoping that, you, you know, the whole of Christianity mm -hmm. is being before doing. Being. Being before, before, doing. before doing. You be that. before you do. That's the whole of Christianity. Right. So we have to allow the messages to impact and transform the whole of our being. So that we can be those resources God is using to accomplish His divine purpose. That is our greatest expectation. That transformation starts completely from master ministers and our own. Mm. So that you're not it. just um, going to listen and go and pour it on the people. Yeah. You're listening yeah. for it to work on you, impact you, have your home. Yes. Um, um, become the Christian home that God expects before you go on teaching. Now let's look at how you're going to implement these things that we are learning here. When you go back to Togo, when you go back to Canada, what is your implementation plan like? Your ministers are here with you anyway. 
but I'm sure when you go, you still would have to do a few things. Let's look at how you're doing that, Apostle. Yeah, you see, there's an implementation uh, document that's already available. But what we're expecting to do that are from district level, area level, even nation level. People will have to draw a yearly action plan related to the implementation strategy to achieve our goal as a church. So we believe So the ministers are supposed to draw a plan? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Alright. Yes. And I'm sure that will go for um, Canada as well. Yes. So, so there's going to be, you know, like monitoring groups starting, some of them start from the, the national executive and then it comes to the area heads and then to the district pastors. So uh, every monitoring team will make sure that, you know, things are being done the way we have all come to agreed upon. So that nobody comes here to learn about it, go and sit down without doing anything, no. And we'll be sending a periodic report, some of them quarterly, half yearly, and then annual, you know, reports on the activities or the vision 2023. Wow. This is the church of Pentecost. Wow. This is the church of Pentecost. I love my church. <laughs> I like the fact that there is an implementation plan and then there is a monitoring team to make sure that the plan is properly implemented. This is the Church of Pentecost. You are here watching us live on Pen TV where we are having the Global Ministers Conference, the first ever conference, bringing all ministers of the Church of Pentecost together at Bumwa Fete, our convention center, Pentecost Convention Center. We are here for the whole week. We're going to be live the whole week. Keep watching. And as you watch, if you're not a member of the church, learn. If you're a pastor, I am sure you should be picking some gems to build your own church. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to take you to the main conference. This evening, we're going to have a discussion on all the things that we talked about today. And my interest is in the church and the Christian home. <laughs> That's what my interest is. And I'm going to be asking some very interesting questions, okay? I'm going to be asking the ministers who come very interesting questions, especially one of the questions I'm going to ask is, how is it that, is it possible anyway, for a minister to be so, to be so good out there and not good at home? Let me say thank you to Omni Bank for supporting this conference. Omni Bank, now Omni Bisik, yes, Omni Bisik, meaning Omni B-S-I-C, Omni Bisik. Thank you very much, Omni Bank, for supporting this conference. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go and join the conference.